Green Springs National Historic Landmark District is a national historic district in Louisa County, Virginia noted for its concentration of fine rural manor houses and related buildings in an intact agricultural landscape. The district comprises 14,000 acres 5, hectares of fertile land, contrasting with the more typical poor soil and scrub pinelands surrounding it. Description The district is located 1.5 miles 2 km north of Interstate 64 from exit number 136, Zion Crossroads. The district is roughly bounded by U.S. Route 15 and Virginia Routes 22 and 613. The area is named for a natural spring noted by Thomas Jefferson as possessing some medicinal virtue. The district features a mixture of wooded and farmed lands. Its distinguishing geological feature is the presence of a heavy clay soil that retains plant nutrients and moisture, creating an open landscape suitable for farming. The area is noted for its park like views, particularly from U.S. Route 15. Topic. Preservation The district was preserved following attempts by the state of Virginia to build a prison there, and after a strip mine was proposed in the area to mine clay for cat litter, the strip mine happened anyway Google Earth maps of the area clearly show the destruction caused by the mine but not on the scale that was intended originally and a great many significant houses and lands continue to be preserved and excluded from the development that is transforming some of the area around the district. National Register properties Significant places listed individually on the National Register of Historic Places include Boswell's Tavern, an important meeting place during the American Revolution and a well-preserved example of a colonial-era tavern. Grassdale, an Italianate villa built in 1861 by the Morris family, later home of Rear Admiral David W. Taylor and his wife Imogene Morris Taylor. Green Springs, a late 18th-century house built by the Morris family near the springs that lent their name to the district. Hawkwood, an Italianate villa designed by prominent New York architect Alexander Jackson Davis for Richard Overton Morris, completed in 1855, gutted by fire in 1982. Ionia, a late 18th-century 1-1/2 story frame house, original seat of the Watson family. Weston, a temple-fronted plantation house with extant dependencies, built by the Morris family. Major historic properties Major historic properties in the district include Barton House is an early 19th-century one-half-story frame house built by the Barton family. Belmonte is a federal-style two-story house built in the early 18th asterisk century and enlarged in both the 19th and 20th century. Asterisk asterisk the Historic American Buildings Survey listed the house built in the 19th century but pulled that data from a National Historic Register nomination form filled out in error. There are multiple historic references to the original builder of the house and family being born at the residence prior to the 1790s as well as land transfers predating the 1780s and a reference to Belmonte in a letter from Thomas Jefferson. Lafayette stayed at and used the house as a recuperative hospital for his soldiers. There is definite precedence that places the original structure in the early to mid-1700s. Belmonte is in close proximity to Boswell's Tavern and built in the same era. Berea Baptist Church is an 1857 Gothic Revival church established in 1795. 
brackets is a two-story frame house built about 1800. Corduroy is a circa 1850 two-story frame house with a hipped roof and a single-story entrance portico. Eastern View is a two-story frame house with a hipped roof and Moorish-style porches, built in 1856. Galway is a two-story frame house with a hipped roof and a balustraded Tuscan porch. Its eaves feature a scalloped cornice. Kenmuir is a two-and-a-half-story frame house built about 1855. The house shows Gothic Revival influence with its lancet windows in the gables. Oakley is a two-story late 19th-century frame house with a bracketed cornice and a full-width veranda on the front featuring sawn detailing. Prospect Hill is an 18th-century house that was progressively enlarged in the 19th and 20th centuries. The two-story frame house features a two-level porch on two sides, along with dependent structures. Quaker Hill is a small one-story frame house dating to circa 1820. St. John's Chapel located at the intersection of Route 640 East Jack Jowett Road and Route 617 East Green Springs Road in Louisa County, the chapel was completed in 1888. Sylvania was built in 1746 by the Morris family. The two-story frame house has a hipped roof with a cross gable, with wings to either side and an L to the rear. Sylvania was extensively damaged by a tornado on October 13, 2011, which blew the roof off the house. Westlands is an Italianate two-story brick house, built around 1856. Other properties Other historic properties include Ashley is a 1900 frame house of two stories with a large veranda. Aspen Hill is a two-story late 19th century frame house with a lancet gable window. Fair Oaks is a two-story frame house built about 1900 with an Ionic Classical Revival veranda. Green. K. Acres Oakley is a late 19th century two-story frame house with a veranda. Hard Bargain is a stick-style two-story frame house with an irregular plan and a veranda. Hill House is a 1918 two-story frame house. Midlock is a circa 1900 two-story frame house with paneled chimneys and a large veranda. Mill View is a one-and-a-half-story frame house dating to the late 18th century, with a two-story addition. Piers House is an 1857 two-story frame house with a hipped roof and a cross gable. A second Piers House was built in the late 19th century with sawn ornament on its two-story porch. Sunny Banks is an 1888 two-story Queen Anne Victorian frame house featuring foundation to roof front bay windows. Sunny View was built about 1900. It is a two-story frame house with a large veranda. The district also includes the village of Poindexter at the intersection of Virginia routes 613 and 640. Topic: Status. On May 30, 1974, the district was declared a National Historic Landmark. On December 12, 1977, the United States Secretary of the Interior agreed to accept preservation easements for nearly half of the 14,004 acres (57 square kilometers) in the district. These allow the NPS to own development rights to the land, and to ensure its continuing rural and agricultural nature. The district is an affiliated area of Shenandoah National Park. The National Park Service does not provide any facilities in the district. See also List of National Historic Landmarks in Virginia
National Register of Historic Places listings in Louisa County, Virginia, 